guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a q and A. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I thought, why not? Now this is not a just generic q and A. This is a cosplay centric q and A. I have been cosplaying since 2017, I think, 2016, 2017. So, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> so I thought today I would just answer a few cosplay -y questions, whether you, you know, we're curious or not, you'll you'll know the answer to the question now. <laughs> so, let's answer some questions. Yay! How long have you been cosplaying? I kind of answered this question with my introduction. Uh, I've been cosplaying since about 2016, 2017. Uh, I saw cosplayers online. I was a, a big fan of Musical.ly. I was making really crappy TikToks with the transitions where you're just doing this. And I saw cosplayers on there and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I was like, what if I did that? I love Halloween. I love dressing up. Why not? So then I just kind of started dressing up and it has progressed to the point that I do it every weekend now. I cosplay two characters a week. I've been doing that for years now. Um, sometimes I cosplay midweek, but usually it's about every weekend. So, you know, it went from me dressing up every once in a while, having one wig that I just reused repeatedly, and using, like, face paint I got at a Halloween store, to now having an entire closet dedicated to cosplay slash vintage, and having an entire section of different makeups that I use for these cosplays. I would not say I am a professional, uh, but I have fun, so that's what matters. What kind of cosplayer do you consider yourself? I don't know. Uh, I'm a cosplayer who... I don't get paid to do this. Every once in a while I have a Kofi goal, um, linked below, <laughs> where uh, fans or supporters can send money so I can buy costumes. Um, but I usually do this for a hobby. I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid to travel to conventions or anything like that. I just do it because I think it's fun. The second it stops being fun will be the second I stop cosplaying. But, you know, I've been doing it, you know, what, seven years? Eight years? So it hasn't become not fun yet, so that's a plus. <laughs> cosplay or crossplay? Both. I do both of them. There was a point early on in my cosplay career where I would cosplay like guys more often than I would cosplay girls. Well, they weren't good, I would say, but I cosplayed a lot of guys. I There was one point where people didn't know if I was a girl or a guy a long time ago. I think this was still when TikTok was musically, but I would get questions. Are you a girl or a boy? Repeatedly. It was actually like, wow, guys, because <laughs> in my normal TikToks, I obviously it just look like I do, but nowadays I don't cosplay guys at all. I usually take a guy character and make them into a girl. And I do this because I have a girly face. <laughs> I do. I have a very feminine face, I would say. And every time I have tried to cosplay a guy as a guy, I, it doesn't look good or it doesn't look right. There are some cosplayers who are really good with makeup where they can transform their face and you're like, damn. I haven't uh, achieved that skill yet. Maybe one day I will have that ability. So I just cosplay girls or girl versions of guys. And honestly, I don't, I think it's pretty fun. You know, there's some guy cosplayers that do similar things where they take girl cosplays and they turn them into guys. Um, and I have fun with it. So why not? Why do you cosplay? I cosplay because I think it's fun. I mean, I started this when I was 15 or 16. So back then, you know, I was, it was, uh, I'm a very introverted, shy person. So I took that as my, my creative outlet. The second I found Musical.ly, I was hooked. I was like, this is amazing. I didn't make good content, but you know, I was obsessed. And so I used to make like six, seven TikToks a day. It was, it was bad. I have a system down now, but back then it was, it was a lot. <laughs> um, so I, I cosplay because it's, it's, it's an escape for me, um, you know, for an hour or two, sometimes three, you know, you get to be someone else. So you could be, let's say, Morticia. You know, Morticia is, you know, very odd and, you know, c 
kooky, but she's uh, confident and strong and has a man who loves her. So you get to pretend for a little while that you are this strong, well, I would say independent <laughs> woman. Uh, you get to be someone else. So it's, and it's, it's an escape from normal life. You get to pretend to be a fairy or a vampire or some mystical being, or you could just pretend to be some random person, but you get to be someone else just for a little while. Plus you get to dress up, do your makeup. It's, you know, it's a process, but it's fun. Is cosplay a hobby you could see yourself doing in 10 years? Maybe. I mean, I've been doing it for seven or eight already. 18 years of cosplay. Wow, that'd be a lot. Uh, in 10 years, I'll be 33. So I don't know if musically, musically, I'm going back to nostalgic days, I guess. If TikTok will exist by then, I, I cosplay through TikTok and I have always cosplayed through TikTok. Um, obviously I post cosplay pictures on Instagram and sometimes I do cosplay e-videos, kind of like this one on my YouTube channel, but my cosplaying is mostly like ingrained in TikTok. So the second that TikTok disappears, you know, maybe another app will take its place, but I don't know if I'll have as much fun with it. I really enjoy cosplaying through TikTok, just the short form video using audios from the shows. It's, um, you know, very cool. <laughs> so in 10 years, if TikTok is still around and, you know, I still find it fun, why not? If someone told you they hated your cosplay, what would you do? I think I just, I don't know what I would do. I, not saying I've never gotten hate comments before, cause I do, there's always haters. <laughs> um, I usually try to let it roll off my back because most of these people are just leaving comments to get a reaction. And if I had a lot of fun with the cosplay and I think it looks good, that's really what matters in the end, as long as, you know, I'm having fun. Sometimes I take it to heart because I do have anxiety. Uh, so when I get like hate comments, sometimes I overthink the comment and I'm like, did I do this wrong? Blah, 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 blah. But I've, I've gotten a little bit better at trying to be like, hey, let's actually think about this. And uh, there's no point in letting this comment affect your entire day. Do you have a current favorite cosplay? I have a few cosplays that, that show up every single year. I try and do a cosplay once a year, sometimes twice a year, depending on the cosplay. I would probably say my favorite cosplays right now. Some of my OCs are pretty cool. Um, I've been very obsessed with dressing up as an elf since like October of last year, I think. I've just like... I've made so many different elf OCs that I don't even think I've named half of them. But I love, like, magic worlds, so obviously I love vampires, but I love elves and witches and dragons and, you know, that sort of thing. There's this elf that I did, I think, this winter. Um, I was wearing this green dress that I bought a long time ago and I had this cool knife necklace on. I don't think I named this OC, but she was a lot of fun very stoic, very elfy, you know? Let's see, an actual character from a movie or show, I'd say, like, Jack Frost shows up at least once a year. Um, I love Rise of the Guardians, great movie. And that version of Jack Frost, awesome. I made the sweatshirt myself, I took a sweatshirt and I painted it, and I got, like, a, like, a freaking shepherd's hook thing from, like, Amazon, and I painted that. Uh, so that one's, and it's comfy. If a cosplay is like a nostalgic character for me and it's comfortable, usually it goes into like a comfort cosplay, favorite cosplay situation. So right now I'd probably say it was that elf, Jack Frost, or maybe Ariel, uh, the Little Mermaid. Uh, she was my favorite princess growing up, so like finally getting to cosplay her a few years ago was like a dream come true. I was like, oh my god. If you could cosplay anywhere in the world, where would it be? A castle. No hesitation. Ireland, England, Scotland, land, <laughs> a castle. The amount of aesthetically pleasing TikToks I see of girls, specifically ginger, which is very specific, but running around in flowy dresses in front of castles. I want to run in front of a castle with a flowy dress so badly, but obviously I live in the US. I mean, not there's like people who created castles and there's businesses that might look like a castle but if you want like a 1500s castle you can't be living here 
So I'd, I want to travel where there's a castle so I can run around and pretend I'm a princess. <laughs> what was your first convention? My first convention in general was a Doctor Who convention, I think in 2016. My grandma took me. It was a small convention, um, nothing massive. I was a giant fan of Doctor Who at the time. It was a thing that me and my grandparents bonded over. Not saying I don't like Doctor Who now, but I'm not as like obsessed with it as I was. Um, after Matt Smith, I kind of dropped off the Doctor Who wagon. Uh, not saying that the other Doctors are bad, but I just kind of moved on to other shows. I'm hoping to get back into it or at least get caught up, but I am so far behind right now that we'll see if that happens. Uh, but that was probably the first convention that I ever like, that I remember. Obviously, I've probably been to ones before, but I remember that one. The first time as a cosplayer, I think, was 2018. I went to a convention in Madison, Wisconsin. I dressed up uh, as Mika and Zero from uh, Mika from Seraph of the Night and Zero from Vampire Night. I was obsessed with anime vampires at that time, but that was the first cosplay I dressed up at. I actually, someone actually asked to take a picture with me. It was like the first moment I was like, oh my god, I've made it. <laughs> Uh, I don't go to conventions very often because they're super expensive and they're nowhere near where I live, so I have to travel for them. Um, but every once in a while, you know, if, if I have the money and the means, then I'll go to a convention. But it's not a constant for me. I think the last convention, which, it, yeah, the next question, what is the last convention you went to? Um, the last convention... I went to was a supernatural one in Minneapolis last year. I met Jared and Jensen. That was the best moment of my life. Uh, I actually made an entire YouTube video going to that convention. I didn't cosplay for that. I just went to meet them and it was amazing. Uh, but the last convention I cosplayed at was probably Fan Expo Cleveland. And that was also in 2023. I think I went in March. Um, I got to meet Shazam, and, uh, that was pretty cool. What is your favorite part of putting on your cosplay? I'd probably say just the favorite part is, um, putting it all together. Um, some cosplays, you know, it's, you know, quite easy. Other times, like, I, closet cosplays are probably my favorite because I just take stuff I have from my own clothes or my cosplay clothes or vintage clothes, and I just put something together. Um, I do my makeup, I do my hair, and, uh, I just, I think putting it together and the final result turning out exactly like I want, or maybe a little different, but still in a way where I'm like, this is awesome, that's my favorite part. What is your least favorite part of cosplaying? I would say my least favorite part is probably when I'm trying to find sounds to use on TikTok and I can't find any. I cosplay a few characters that do not have like a cult following, like a character that everybody knows. Like if you cosplay Milo from Atlantis, you're gonna have a ton of audio clips on TikTok to use. I like to use actual like acting audio from the movie or show that it's from. Obviously I'll use songs and other clips, but it's nice to use the character's voice. So it's more like accurate, I guess. Uh, so like, a week or two ago, I cosplayed Charlie from Fright Night. There was literally like three audio clips on their total. And the only person who's ever cosplayed Charlie Brewster is me. I looked, there's a Charlie Brewster cosplay hashtag and it's just me. I was like, oh no. It just took a lot longer when cosplays take forever. It's probably my least favorite part. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy putting them on. I enjoy making TikToks. I enjoy taking pictures. But when I get into a cosplay and I have other stuff to do and then I'm cosplaying for four hours because it takes forever to put on. I can't find any audios. I can't get pictures right. It's just like, oh, that sucks. I like when things go smoothly and everything goes well, which is half the time doesn't, but you know, it's fun regardless. Do you have cosplays that are sometimes painful or uncomfortable? I wouldn't say painful is the right word. Uncomfortable, yes. I have a lot of wigs that are fake and are very itchy. Uh, there are times in between making TikToks that I have to rip the wig off and scratch my head until it's red because it's so damn itchy. Because I don't buy <laughs> high quality wigs half the time 
because if you want to buy like a human hair real high quality wig it's going to cost you a pretty penny and most of these wigs i use just for tiktoks pictures i don't go out in public in most of these cosplays so i don't want to spend a ton of money on a wig that i'm not going to use often uh so i get the cheaper wigs which are itchy which is why if you notice a lot of the time i don't wear wigs even though i have way too many wigs because i just prefer to use my own hair because I'm more comfortable and I don't have to deal with my head itching. Some of the wigs I own are not like that. I'm not saying every wig I own is uncomfortable, but there are a lot of wigs I own that are. Most of my cosplays are comfy. Um, I don't think I have any that are like uncomfortable to wear. It's mostly the wigs that cause me problems. How far into the character are you willing to go while in cosplay? At the end of the day, are you you or are you your character? I don't method act when I cosplay. I know there's some people who do. Uh, I don't. Uh, when I'm doing TikToks, for example, I will try and replicate some of their facial expressions or, and uh, become the character itself for pictures and videos and stuff like that. But when I'm not doing that, and let's just say I'm in between pictures or in between TikToks or I gotta take a break and go get a snack, I'm not staying in character. And even when I'm at a convention, I don't method act. I don't be like, this is who I am. I act like myself. I just wear the costume. Uh, so I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I mean, when I do audios on TikTok, I, I do a little bit of acting or I try, try. Uh, but, um, no, I don't like become the character itself. I just, I just have fun with it. Wigs or no wigs. Do you prefer to style your wigs, commission a style or buy them? Well, kind of answered this question already, but no, I would prefer no wigs. I like to use my own hair as much as possible, which is why I cosplay a lot of like brown haired characters. So I could just use my hair. When I do wear wigs, I usually buy them pre-styled. Not saying I'm not capable of styling my own wigs, but it's just easier that way. Pay 20 bucks and then you got a wig that's perfect for the cosplay you got to do. If I wanted to, I could take the time to, you know, style it and make it perfect. Um, I had to do that with a wig I bought for Shadow Heart that I cosplayed a few weeks ago, um, the wig's bangs were wrong. Um, they looked right when I, in the picture when I bought it and then I received it and they were wrong. So I had to cut it with scissors. I was so scared I was going to fuck it up. It wasn't perfect. Um, if you look closely at those TikToks, you can clearly tell that the, the bangs are a little off. But um, I don't try to cut my wigs often. I try to stylize them in a way that works or buy a wig as close to the style as I need so I don't have to mess with it. Um, because I've not been known to cut hair very well, so I don't want to risk messing up a wig I just paid for. How do you save money for your cosplay hobby? I don't. <laughs> Usually what I do is I try to get my cosplays cheap. I will go to stores and buy pieces that'll work for a cosplay. Usually thrift stores, and then I can put it together. But some characters have a specific outfit that you can't just like buy at a thrift store and those I usually buy I buy a lot of stuff off Amazon uh, I buy it off Amazon I try to get a high quality one but if you want a real good quality those are like two three hundred bucks and you know obviously I could make my cosplays I do know how to sew I am not a seamstress though I have not sewed in years um, I'd like to get back into it and I have made a few pieces for cosplaying but a lot of my costumes are store-bought I know. I'm not a cosplayer who makes everything that they use. I don't make all my costumes. I don't make all my accessories. I just dress up and have fun with it. I know there's some cosplayers who, who don't like that people just buy stuff. Like they like the idea of making it and that is totally fine. And obviously I would love to get into making more stuff. Probably be cheaper that way depending on what I'm trying to make. But right now I just don't have the time. So I just, that's, that's just how I've been doing it. And I don't think there's any which way that you have to cosplay. You could buy costumes directly online. You can use clothes from your closet and put it together and have a closet cosplay. Or you can make all your clothes by hand. But some people don't have the patience, which I don't really have a lot of patience for sewing. Uh, but, um, you know, I don't, there's no certain way you have to cosplay. Dress up as any way you want. Where do you go most often for photo shoots? Do you do photo shoots? I do photo shoots for every cosplay that I do. I usually just go to a park. Um, I have this one favorite spot near this tree. 
Um, that is in mostly every TikTok I do. Just because I love that tree and where I put my phone, it's like centered behind me and it looks cool. Photo shoots, I usually just, I find a cool spot and I take photos. I usually take photos in the exact same spot because it works and I like it. Obviously, I could travel for photo shoots, but it's like, why would I have to? The majority of my photos, the main goal is the costume, the makeup, right? The background doesn't really matter that much. Um, so I just choose that spot because it's pretty. And during autumn, that tree that I always use, so pretty. It turns this bright color of yellow. Oh, <laughs> it's really awesome. The last question, what got you into cosplaying? I kind of answered this earlier, but I can reiterate. It's a big word. <laughs> Uh, what got me into cosplaying is I saw people online cosplaying and I thought it was really cool. I was like, I want to do that. And I kind of just did it. I have been a fangirl my entire life. I have this thing where I hyper fixate on certain shows and movies and stuff. A few of them have lasted through the ages, like vampires in general. Uh, but specific like Lost Boys and Fright Night and Supernatural, Teen Wolf and... Like, those things that I watched, I obsessed over, and I can't get out of my head. Like, they're, they're stuck forever. <laughs> but then there's hyperfixations that I have obsessed over, and then just, you know, either lost interest or it ended and it didn't stick like other stuff have. But cosplaying was one of those things that, you know, I love, wa I love content where I can watch, I love watching TV. Uh, I like to watch actors act and, like, the characters and the story and be immersed and I'm like oh my god this is great so I was like why not become the characters I love you know I watch them on TV why not become them so you know I started out with just one wig and some you know Halloween makeup and now it's turned into I have a closet for my cosplays and I have an entire section of my counter in my bathroom dedicated to makeup for cosplaying some of it's just eyeshadow and lipstick you know stuff I could wear every day and then I have like face paint sticks and like stuff that you wouldn't wear normally I have an entire bag of elf ears of different sizes because why not the amount of like fairy slash elf crowns I own isn't <laughs> is a problem, but hey, you know, why not? Collect, collect cool things, you know? Uh, so what got me into cosplaying is the fact that I'm a fangirl and the idea of being able to cosplay characters that I have adored for years, my brain was like, I love that. I love that so much. And I loved it so much that I still do it now. <laughs> I started this cosplay journey at 15, 16 ish. I'm 23 now. So I've been doing this for a while. Uh, quite a while. Um, I don't know if I'll do this forever. You know, I don't know what the future holds. I will continue cosplaying until it becomes not fun anymore. Whether it's the community or just the idea of dressing up or, you know, it just becomes like too much work. I never want cosplaying to become like a job. Um, I know there's people who get paid to cosplay, but once it becomes a job, it doesn't become as fun. It becomes like a duty. Like you have to do it. I don't want to ever feel like cosplaying is something I have to do. I want to do it because I want to. And as long as it continues to be fun and it's something I want to do and I, you know, enjoy it, then I'm going to keep doing it. And that's the plan. Don't know how far in the future that'll go. Could be a year. Could be five years. Could be 20. I could be 65 in cosplaying. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but we never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. It was something that just came to mind and I thought, why not? I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I don't do a lot of Q&A style uh, videos, um, you know, because being an introverted anxiety overthinker, I always think that people don't want to hear the answers to the questions from me. Like, why would they want to listen to me talk? Why would they want to um, learn more about me? You know, um, but over the years of creating this content and doing it because I want to, I want people to, you know, have fun. Uh, I've gotten a little better with that. Uh, I cosplay for myself because I think it's fun. I also cosplay for you guys. I love to see the interactions you guys have. You're like, this character looks so cool. Or I used to watch that show and I can't, you know, it's nostalgic or, you know, it always makes me happy uh, to see people enjoying my content. The main reason I do this in general is uh, to make at least one person smile. You know, if I can make one person smile that day, I've achieved things. Uh, so thank you guys for sticking around. <laughs> uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back again next Wednesday with another one. See you later.